Finally, tonight we meet an internationally acclaimed musician who seems to be immersed in everything African. Please welcome a crazy white man, Mzungu Kicha! <laughs> Big hugs. Take a seat, take a seat. <laughs> Were you a bit worried? But you're back there going, is it me? Is it me? Yeah, yeah. no, I, I heard my tune playing, so I thought maybe I'm supposed to start singing. Good. <laughs> what and, am I and supposed to and, doing? and make the crowd go crazy. <laughs> you will in a minute, you will. <laughs> okay, let's let's start with your story. I understand, well, for those who don't understand, what does Mzungu Kicha mean? Because there are a few out there who won't understand. It's, uh, it's hard to uh, translate yeah. because um, it means the crazy white man, yeah. uh, literally, but uh, it's. it's um, not just about I that. mean, I mean, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's street language, Swahili uh, slang. Kicha has positive meaning. Yes, meaning. It just does. like like uh, in America, you say bad, yeah, meaning good. Right. It's good. Yeah. So um, so this this uh, name came to me, um, got given to me by uh, Juma Nature from Bongo Records, and he's a guy who's very very close to the street. Yeah. You know, very close to people yes. um, and so when he gave me that name in the beginning it was very hard for me to accept being crazy and you know because <laughs> you know <laughs> not the really translation, but translation, like, but yeah. like uh, you know I've, I've come to accept it because it means someone with talent it means it means someone who's mjanja who's clever who's clever so uh, street smart yeah 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 <laughs> well we like it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like it and it's unexpected but your your whole uh, immersion in, in African culture. It started when you were quite young. Yeah. Because you, you moved to Zambia or something yeah. because of your, your parents' job. Yeah. And then I hear there's some interesting things that happened, you know, whilst yeah. you were there. What, what was it? I mean, uh, my early years have had a big impact on my life today. Mm. Um, I still relate to what happened when I was a kid. Yeah. I was, uh, you know, taken to Africa as a six year old by my parents together with my young sister. And we went to a remote village uh, in Zambia. Yeah. Uh, far from any modern civilization, any yeah. any any Western commodities. Yeah. So I lived uh, the life of a young African kid. Yeah. Well, you even took off your shoes. You're like, I'm not going to s school with shoes. I'm no. going to do it like no, everybody I mean else I does. I, uh, <laughs> I had this thing. My pencils were longer than everyone else's. Yeah. Uh, but that's because you know, if there's a, a family of two kids, you you snap the pencil in half. You know. <laughs> So, <laughs> so I swapped my long pencils for the short pencils because those were cool, you know. Yeah. Uh, I shot my uh, pencil sharpener for a, a razor blade. That's what you did. Yes. You're just getting right into yes. it. But then you also lived with the Maasai or something. Was that? Is yeah, that, that where? Was, that this was is when you now later. moved to Tanzania. Yeah. I moved to Tanzania as a 15-year-old. Moved to Dar es Salaam. Uh, then I then later on moved up uh, north up to my parents worked uh, in Gorongoro mm -hmm. National Park right on the crater edge yeah which is uh, an amazing beautiful place to live, yeah. beautiful and uh, to be living there was a was a pure privilege also because you know growing up in Zambia being interested in culture now being close to the Maasai who are very fascinating people and have a very unique culture in many ways it was uh, an amazing experience for me mm. I went to boarding school in Moshi in Kilimanjaro but spent all my holidays uh, back in Ngorongoro where I uh, where I was you know I'm, I'm very into music uh, all s all kinds of kinds of music so the Maasai singing is called Osingolio yeah. when they, they ha you use it for ceremonies very yeah. ceremonies yeah. and I was very involved in that I used to be a very good jumper <laughs> as well. should we should we test him yes? <laughs> can you do it can you still do it <laughs> hey, and then, jeez, oh, like that. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> love it. And of course, of course, I used to have uh, long Maasai uh, braids. Uh, oh, I so had you long had hair the dreads as well? and a piece of aluminium on the head. So when you go, <laughs> then you go, and then you go and shake them <laughs> like that. Are you serious? To the girls. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, I was very involved in that, and. Um, yeah, and the whole, the whole. Uh, I mean, it's very physical. Eh? Yeah. Um, so I, I was training a lot back at boarding school, and people thought I was a bit crazy. You're crazy. So yeah. maybe that's why I got that name. <laughs> so what's this guy yeah. doing? So <laughs> but then, w what is this? I, I don't know. Have you been back to Denmark? Because that's where you're originally yeah. from. I have. I went to. Uh, you know, during your childhood, I'm talking. Yeah, I've been. I've been back, back and forth. Um, 
When I was in Zambia, I went back to, uh, to Denmark as a nine-year-old again. Yeah. And I, I was an African kid. I didn't know how to... Uh, to I didn't fit in, uh, like wearing shoes, and I didn't know how to eat with a knife and fork, you know? It so was that... Yeah. Was that bad? Yeah, not that it was that great. <laughs> was that great? Okay, I know. I mean, was that like that much? Yeah, yeah, it was that extreme. Uh, yeah. Because my parents are very free, uh, and, and living in a village, the best environment for me would be to live like other kids. Yeah, you know? yeah, totally. Um, positive yeah. message. It's all positive <laughs> stuff. But, you know, let's just go back to your eclectic music taste. Because yeah. I want to dig a little bit there. I mean, you say rumba, Congolese, Irish folk music. Yeah. MTV, yeah, you <laughs> yeah. Make your music is so different. It's got, no, it doesn't I mean, seem like you're, you're drawing from these influences in some way, or maybe Rumba and Congolese, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, How does um, it work? I've, I've uh, been traveling so much and meeting so many different cultures yeah, nomadic that, kind I've, of that I've been influenced, you know, and <laughs> I, I like being in touch with, uh, with the culture and or with the people that I'm with. Mm. So when I was in Denmark, uh, my parents used to dance folk dancing, Danish folk dancing, and Irish folk music is also beautiful, and I play yeah. the violin. And so instead of dancing with uh, my sweaty uh, parents or their friends, <laughs> 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 I then uh, went and played the violin with the band. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Congolese music, um, obviously, it's, it's everywhere. Yes, uh, it when I came to Tanzania first time. Who's your favorite? Um, I mean, I go way back to Franco and yeah. Taboulé and, and all Gosh, those, guys, those big guys. You're old school, man. It's no, good I go stuff. way back to those guys. <laughs> I, also, I also appreciate uh, Wenga Musica yeah. and uh, I played with some of the guys from General Defao. Did you? And my band in London backed Kofi Olomide and, you know, so... so yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I like this. So, no, <laughs> I've been moving around a lot, you know, and, yeah. and, and all these, it shouldn't confuse people that I have, uh, you know, I'm not schizophrenic or yeah. anything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I love music and uh, music has no barriers. You know that you know you you should be very open also as a as a listener as a lover of music. Yeah. You should be open to to all the music available to yeah, us. Yeah. Well, you said it's all it's all in a good thing, a good way. But you're going to tell us a little bit about the song that you're going to play mm. for us this evening. Yeah. Jitole. I'm going to play Jitole, which uh, is a song I recorded uh, partly at Bongo Records, partly at my own studio in Denmark. And uh, it's the single that's been released in East Africa that's been uh, received very well. Extremely and, well. And uh, it's, being, it's been number one on East African television. Um, and it features Professor Jay and yeah. Mwasiti. Yeah, we love that. Thank you so much for coming on this show. It's been Thank great. you for having Thank me. you so much. Thank you. And thanks to all our guests tonight, Vabenes Dosaja, the Dubai siblings, Hinga, and of course, Mzungu Kichar. Don't forget, you can follow The Patricia Show on Twitter and Facebook. And here's Mzungu Kichar to play us out with his song, Jitole. Yeah. <laughs>